Hello and welcome to the second edition of the WrestleVision Please Not Another Wrestling podcast. Podcast. It is just me this week going alone because everyone else is busy. Um, I'm Connell and we've got a lot to discuss. It's Money in the Bank this week and we're probably going to start off with the Money in the Bank predictions because it is going to be one hell of a show. Um, but well, before we get into anything, we've got to start with everyone here at WrestleVision is giving our thoughts and prayers to family and friends of former Diva Search winner and former WWE Diva Ashley Massaro, who tragically passed away this past week at the age of 39. Someone who I can, obviously, this one does actually get to be because the very first WrestleMania I watched live was WrestleMania 23. And she was on that show against Melina in what was dubbed one of the worst matches of the night. But she definitely did stand out from the pack and definitely did break forth sort of a new mould of like the sort of punky look for women in WWE. So it's very sad news and nothing but respect from here, from everyone here, including myself. Now... Money in the Bank 2019, as I get the card up, one second. Um, We start off with the pre-show. That is, I believe, it is confirmed to have two matches on it. I'm just checking double quickly on my phone, one second. No, it's actually not. It's actually only confirmed to have one on it, but I'm assuming the second one I'm going to talk about will be moved. So, the first match is... Daniel Bryan and Rowan, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, defending their... Wait, no, it's a non... Facing the Usos in a non-title contest after weeks of wild carding back and forth from the Usos and Raw and SmackDown. Um, Makes more sense for this match to be happening if it is non-title. A lot of people are going to moan about Bryan being on the pre-show, but if it's a non-title match, I guess... These are the same people that would moan if they were to bump like the Cruiserweight title match down. And so I'm fine with it, really. It is obviously not ideal, but something's got to go there. And I do think they're going to give the win to the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Brian and Mr. Up the Rowan, because of interference from the Utah's rivals, the Revival over on Raw. Leading to either Brian Knee or Rowan, whatever he does, finish where Rowan and Brian score the win. Next up is Cruiserweight Champion Tony Nice versus Arya Davari. This one seems like a no brainer. Obviously, it's far too soon to take the title off Tony Nice after he got that big crowning moment at WrestleMania. Davari is. The definition of a first filler challenger. Nice is going to score the win here. <coughs> Sorry. As it currently stands, it is on the main show. But I can see it be moved maybe down if they're running out of space because they've got to get a lot of matches on the card, including two Money in the Bank ladder matches. Next up is another WrestleMania, well, not another, but a WrestleMania rematch for the United States Championship. Samoa Joe defending against Rey Mysterio. Um, Joe is... He's held the title since Fastlane, I believe. And I feel like they're going to want to at least get the title on Rey at some point in this feud. Because that's the whole point of it happening. And um, my pick is Rey Mysterio to win here. I haven't really got a reason why. I just feel like... This match could go either way, and it never hurts to get an extra babyface victory on a pay-per-view show. Um, and this one, Ray could easily win this. Joe could win it back. They probably will do it. Probably is one of the entire changes where they do it, and then have Joe just take it back the night after, or not the night after, or the next pay-per-view. But for no reason specifically, my prediction is Ray Mysterio, um, Dominic. May get involved, I'm not sure. But, yeah. Next up, inside a steel cage, The Miz, 
taking on his arch rival Shane McMahon. This one I feel is gonna be where the Miz gets his win back over Shane, because Miz he is popular as a babyface, maybe cooled off a little bit because of them focusing more on Roman than him, but he's still the people do still like him, and he's gonna be locked in a cage with Shane, which is history shows is terrible at keeping people out, but hypothetically going to keep out the B team because Elias will be dealt with. Um, Yeah, Miz just going to... I don't see it being a match, so to say. More a 10-minute glorified squash of the Miz getting all the offense in and just battering Shane. Making him pay for months of abuse. Maybe get good old George in there to to get a couple of hits in after Shane legitimately broke the man's ribs at WrestleMania. We also have, speaking of uh, Shane McMahon, his friend Elias, one-on-one with the big dog Roman Reigns in (laughs) what seems like a no-brainer, and I'm predicting will be a no-brainer in probably going to be the slowest match on the show, Maybe the death spot. Definitely going to be the match where they probably get the AEW chance. But the big dog is going to score the win with a spear. And prove everything he said about Elias on SmackDown. Right, that he is not on Roman's level and he's yet to accomplish anything. Then we'll get on to the first of the two titular matches of the pay-per-view. It is the women's Money in the Bank ladder match, which I predict will obviously start the show. It is Natalia versus Dana Brooke versus Naomi versus Bailey versus Mandy Rose versus Ember Moon versus Carmella versus Nikki Cross, now replacing the injured Alexa Bliss. This one, pretty much all year, I've had the same predictor prediction who is going to win the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And... It is someone I think they've done a decent job of trying to trying to throw you off into not thinking it's going to be her. Because I think they're sort of making you want to believe it's going to be either Bailey or Nikki Cross. But ever since the start of the year, I, I predicted this woman and she is in it. So she's still my prediction here. And that is somebody I think they do see big potential in. And that's Mandy Rose. And I don't see her cashing in tonight. But... She'll hold it for a while like Carmella did. And then she'll be the third out of three Women's Money in the Bank winners to be a small blonde heel. So that's fun. We also have the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, Sami Zayn is now in it after he defeated Braun Strowman on Raw in a pretty good match. To take the spot of the Monster Among Men who... Is working through an injury, but that's not the reason he was removed, apparently. He was removed. It was always the plan to have Sammy in this match over him. But Braun is currently working without an injury. So we have Sammy Zayn, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, Ali, Finn Balor, Andrade, and Randy Orton. This one I'm finding it kind of hard to predict. There's a couple of people in here that I thought, yeah, that could easily be who they're going to put the championship on. Um, My head and my heart are giving me two different answers. Because I would love to see Sami Zayn win it. He's in one of the best parts on Raw right now. Um, But he's not who I think is going to win it. And obviously I would love to see the person I am going to predict to win it, to win it. Because he is great and he does deserve it. But... It's not who I would love to... Because Sammy would be my favourite. This man would be my number two favourite to win. But he's who I see winning it. And that is Andrade. Because we've seen the reports that he needs to... That they've sent him a, um English tutor to improve his, his English language. And... Yeah, so they clearly have high hopes for him. If they're going to give him a push. If he's allowed to speak English... And with the case, that pretty much does cement that, hey, you're a guy that we do intend on pushing. You don't have to win the title immediately so we can hold it for a couple of months while he learns the language. And then cash it in and become the champion, which is the plan I do see coming to light. 
now we get into our top title matches of the evening. The first of two women's championship matches is for the Raw Women's Championship. Raw Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Two Belts, Becky Lynch, defends her Raw title against the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Evans. Now, I don't think that they're going to take the titles off Becky at Money in the Bank. I think she's winning both titles. She's been in both our matches. I did originally think she was losing at least one of them. But they're airing the um, 24 after Money in the Bank about her. So I think it would just be a bit deflating if she lost the titles like a couple of hours before that went live. And I sat there watching this thing about this woman who won these two bucks away. Because I'm assuming that's where it's going to end off. And then, well, you've got... She doesn't have the belts anymore. Because she lost one to Lacey Evans. <laughs> but yeah, so now I know that's happening. Other than the bank, I do see her walking out with both titles. Which I guess <laughs> sort of spoils the next prediction. Expect that women's title, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. Which, if I had to, if you had said to me, hey, you don't know about this, ask me last week, I'd have said that Becky was beating Lacey and losing this match. Because I do think they're going to go on back to back. I don't see the point of having a win one and then bringing out, going back to have a rest. So it defeats the whole purpose. So. Yeah, yeah, but she's probably going to win both. We then have WWE Championship. Kevin Owens challenges new... They're still calling him the new champion. That's why he's held it for a month. Kofi Kingston. Um, I could originally when he won it I thought oh he's only going to hold it for a month and then drop it but um, I don't think it's going to be to Kevin Owens I think he's retaining here tonight and he's going to not tonight <laughs> you know what I mean yeah Um. and then he's going to defend it probably in Saudi Arabia probably against Owens again then move on to a new challenger. I actually don't think he might not drop it until SummerSlam now. Which is a complete and utter change from what I did originally think. Because I don't think they want to be as on the nose with it. With how um token it was. But yeah, he's going to retain... But I think, no, I think the main event is going to be the Universal Championship match. Seth Rollins defends the championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles. It's sort of a modern, like a modern fan sort of indie dream match, so to speak. And it's come at the wrong time because, not saying like the pay per view is for Money in the Bank is fine to have the match on, I think, but. Don't think anybody thinks Seth Rollins is going to lose because he just won it. So it sort of gives away the finish. Could have gone either way if you did it a different show. But hey ho. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is though, I do not think it's going to be clean. I do not think that they're going to just pin AJ with a curb stomp and move on. I could see because they're advertising... The rumour is to do Seth and Brock at the Super Showdown. Uh, We could see another Brock run in. Yay. Um, So that's everything for Money in the Bank. What else is going on? 
So yeah, that's just it for this week. It was just me on here because we wanted to get out a Money in the Bank predictions podcast, but none of the other lads were available. So it's just basically 15 minutes of me mumbling about the upcoming pay-per-view disguise as a podcast. Sorry if it's um, not up to your standards, but the normal there should be two people back on next week. We we are said to be rotating, so it probably won't be me if everyone is available. But if people aren't available, it might still be me. Whatever. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like, um, leave a comment, your predictions for Money in the Bank, and don't forget to subscribe to see any of our upcoming podcasts in the future. So yeah, with that all said and done, since it's just me, I guess that's me out of here. Till next week, lads. Bye bye.